it's just me, just P. I hope y'all didn't forget about me. But let's get into it. Where have I been? What have I been doing these last few months? Your girl passed step one. Okay, okay, okay. I literally still gas myself up about it because I feel like I cried about it so many times and I was so stressed about it for so long. But I did it. I passed my step one exam. You guys, I passed it the first time. And like, that might seem like you're supposed to pass it the first time. Like, why would you? Why oh, is that such a big accomplishment? Because y'all know I struggled with comp and that CBSC exam. But when it was time to pull through, your girl pulled through. <sighs> so happy. I can't believe it. So I passed my step one. I took my exam December 13th. I got my result December 28th. So the holiday season, this was the biggest Christmas gift from me to me, actually from God to me. This was the biggest Christmas present, the best way to end 22, 2022. And I'm so thankful. I still thank God every single day. I mean, it's the least I can do right because I was begging him for months. So it's only like due diligence to say thank you. So let's get into... How did I get my score report? Actually, I should probably talk about step one day. So I pushed my test back so many times. So for those of you who are new to my channel, watch my other videos so you can see like, it's been a process for me to get here. So I studied basically for step one for a year, like almost a whole year. I finally took my test December 13th and I just kept praying. So I'm religious, as I've mentioned before, and I just kept praying, God, please help me. Please help me be calm. I've done all that I can do. I did the Eurold Q Bank three and a half times. I watched Pathoma so many times that I felt like I was like saying the videos with him. I did MBMEs 25 through 30. I did 25 through 28 four times. And then MBME 29 and 30 five times. And so people might be like, oh, so that's like inaccurate scoring. It's about learning the concepts over and over again and making sure that I know why that's the answer and I know why the other answers aren't that answer and when would that answer choice be the correct answer. So I just kept praying, God, please help me. I feel like I've done all that I can. I took multiple tutoring programs and I was like, this is like, this is it. Like I have to go in there, I have to do it. It was the weirdest thing. I've always labeled myself as somebody who is not a good test taker, which I'm working on not doing that anymore because you become a negative self-fulfilling prophecy when you do that. And I just kept praying, God, please help me be calm for this test. I've worked hard. I've done all that I can. And I know I have it within me. I really do know that I have this within me. So please help me do this. And I had no anxiety the day before. Like I was studying and so they say not to study the day before, but because listen, I'm the underdog, I'm gonna keep fighting always. I was like, there's no time people say rest and relax. And like, cause I wasn't gonna relax if I came back and that score report was good and I have to redo the exam. So what is one more day of studying? And for me, that was my way of staying calm was by continuing to work and be with the material and studying. And just, I was laying on the hotel bed, first aid was there, I was reviewing my like notes I had made throughout my time of studying but I was calm and I was like, I can do this. I can do this. I never sleep the night before an exam. When I say this, like I'm in bed, but I'm tossing and turning. I don't ever get to get like a good night's sleep and wake up in the morning like, oh, let's do this. I'm like always just looking at my phone and it's like a countdown to like doomsday for me in my head. I'm like, oh God, three more hours, two more hours. I'm like not even sleeping. I'm just looking at the time, like how much longer do I have until I have to report for this test? That didn't happen this time. So like I, it was all God. Genuinely me passing the step exam was all God's doing. I slept the whole night. I woke up in the morning. I showered, that was the first, first thing I did was say a prayer. And then I showered, I got ready. I had brought my yoga mat. I placed it on the floor around like six o'clock in the morning at that time. I wanted to make sure I was like not rushing to do anything. I did some yoga, I meditated. And then I literally was on my knees and I was just praying to God. And long story short, I went in there and I passed the test. So like, what was test day like for me? So it's seven blocks of 40 questions, seven hours long, and then you have 45 minutes of break to split up like however you want. And I remember doing block one 
And like, this is why I feel like everything was God's doing. Usually I feel like when a test start, I look at the first question, I'm like, next. Second question, next. Third question, next. I'm like, Jessica, stop playing. Go back to question number one. Like, I'm just so nervous and frazzled. That wasn't like what happened to me on step one. I feel like all the hard work that I put really, really paid off for me. I felt comfortable throughout the blocks. I was finishing with good of time and then I was able to breathe. And then that's when like my tutoring came in hand because I finished and I had extra time. Me being me, I wanna go back and change things. Well, maybe that wasn't AML, maybe it was this. Was that really that histo picture? Oh, what if they were really trying to test you since, you know, I didn't do that. I was like, I put what I put. I worked really hard. I'm gonna to remain to the techniques, follow your gut, trust yourself. And I passed and it worked. I passed step one. I never thought, like, and I mean this seriously, so this is like genuine time, sensitive time. I never thought I was gonna pass that test. I never thought that I was gonna even go to a parametric center to take that test. I thought it was like one of the biggest fears of my life, literally. That's why that was, that's part of the reason why I studied for a whole year. I just never felt like it was right. I was like, well, what if I'm that one person who passes the practice exams and this and that, and then doesn't pass? But God got my bag. Listen to me, I'm God's home girl. Like I passed the test, I did it. So I'm so proud of myself. This might seem like to other people, like it's just the test, like relax. But this is literally, I wanna say this is the biggest accomplishment of my life is passing the step one exam because of the mental journey that I went through and how hard it was for me emotionally. There was times, of course, there's many times where I didn't want to do this anymore, but there were two really specific times that I was done. Like I literally started packing my suitcase. I had told Tosin, who's my boyfriend, he's also in medical school. I was like, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. I went as far as sending the email to my dean withdraw me like I can't do it anymore. So yes, this is a big accomplishment for me because I got off of the medications that I was on. So I took, and that's another thing that I'm so proud of myself for, is that I took this exam. I was on no medications. I was on no anti-anxiolytics. I was on no antidepressants. I was off of them for like two, three months going into my exam because I was like, I need to change my life. I can't just keep doing the same thing. And I went in there and I did it. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. So now let's talk about getting my test like score report. How was it? So like I said, I took my test December 13. The score takes two weeks. So it's like two weeks from that test date on that Wednesdays when you get it. I remember, so it was the holidays. Or I'm currently in Georgia. So we went back home in Florida. We spent the holidays with my family this year. And we were driving back home and Tosin's driving, I'm in the passenger seat. So this is on the 27th, December 27th, the Tuesday, the night before we get our score. And he's just driving and I just start crying. And I was like, I just don't wanna be upset tomorrow when I get my score report because I worked really hard and no matter what, I need to be proud of myself. I don't wanna be upset with myself and like crying, like legit crying. And he's like, I know, I know, but like, you came this far and I believe that God's gonna see you through. And it's just, cause I was so used to being that student on CBSE who had all the hopes and like tried so hard and no, you failed, you gotta do it again. No, you failed, you gotta do it again. That that became my experience. I feel like it became ingrained in me that when I open score reports, it's not what I want it to be. And then this is the big test. Those were the practice exams for this exam. But, you know, it's mandatory for my school to do it and to pass them before you sit for this exam. This is the real deal though. This is what residencies are going to see. So I was like, oh my gosh, like here we go again. I'm always on like getting the short end of the stick. So that's the 27th. We wake up the 28th and so I had friends who've taken it before me obviously. And some of them got it at 8 a.m. Like they got the email as soon as they woke up. And that's, I had one friend who told me she didn't get it until one o'clock in the afternoon. So I was like, oh God. So I'm about to be like, my stomach's bubbling. Like I'm about to be here all day waiting for this eight o'clock nothing i check i re look this is how much i remember this 8 14 nothing 8 22 nothing and then 8 47 was the last time i checked 8 47 i was like, okay stop you cannot keep checking like my email was probably like girl ain't nothing here for you stop coming over here like this so then i was like, okay i'm driving myself crazy i'm making this even worse like just leave it alone and then wait for the test like for them to send it to you. So I was like, I'm not gonna check again until like 2 p.m. So I sit down 
and the dean of my school sends me a text message, congratulations, I'm so proud of you. I couldn't believe it, but I didn't believe it. I was like, I think she did this to me before on a comp exam that I had failed. The second time I failed the comp exam, she sent me that message. So I thought I passed. Oh my gosh, good. I don't have to repeat term five. No, y'all, she sent me that message that she's so proud of me. I was like, oh, what? I failed it. So I was crying. And it was like a few weeks after that, that I had told her, like, I don't want to do this anymore. So I was like, I've been here before, but she said she was proud of me and she's just being nice that like she's proud of me despite me failing the exam. So I go to the bathroom and I log in. I don't even respond to her message. I go to the bathroom and I log in and I'm sitting on the toilet, right? And I'm logging to the ECFMG. I put my code, like your USMLE ID identification number. So I do that and then I see pass with my name. You guys, to show you how much I'm like ingrained to think that good things don't happen for me. I was looking for my score report as I'm looking for my score report because I thought that was a template. Like that's a template of what your test score report is supposed to look like. So I'm looking for like, where's the real thing? Like, where's my thing? And then I go back and I was like, oh my gosh, this is real. Like, this is my score report. This is like really what I got. And then I ran out of the bathroom and I just started bawling and crying. Tosin was sitting there and I was like, I passed, I passed. Ugly cry, like bad cry I passed my exam I passed my exam and then first person I called was my mother my mother was at work and so I'm calling her crying which in hindsight that was not nice of me to do because that scares any mother to get a phone call crying my mother's like what is it what is it and I was like I passed my step one my mother starts crying she's at work my mother starts crying with me and it was just so good so happy and then of course my dad my brother and then my friends my friends like helped me so much throughout this process. They could tell me, you can do it, you can do it. And you know, that's what's hard is when you don't, you have to believe in yourself. Other people can believe in you. My dean believed in me, Tosin believed in me, my parents believed in me, all my friends, my classmates. They're like, you're one of the hardest workers I know, you're so smart. But that actually made my anxiety worse because I was like, how do you think I feel? You don't think I know that I work hard? And then it's like, and now I don't even consider myself smart anymore because I struggled so much. But I feel smart now, I'm like, I got it. I'm like, I got pep in my step again like it's all good so I texted them you know individually one by one thank you for like supporting me and then just like the love and the happiness in return I had other friends cry with me I had friends like to this day when they see me they go okay okay like gassing me up like those are my friends those are my friends this is how they do me and best day ever I feel like I should get tattooed December 28th on my forehead because that was thus far one of the best days of my life ever so what am I up to now? Um, so I just finished my pediatric rotation. I actually took my pediatric NBME yesterday and I'm setting my psychiatry rotation on Monday. So since step one, listen, I got life updates for you guys. I passed my step one. I completed my pediatrics rotation and your girl is starting her psychiatry rotation on Monday. So like things are in a better direction. I pray to continue to work hard and to like work as hard. I have a very high standard for myself. to always continue to work hard, but also a big goal of myself for this 2023 year is to believe in myself, to break down all these negative ideas I put of myself that I'm not smart or getting, I'm, I'm, I have anxiety, I'm a bad test taker because you do become a negative self-fulfilling prophecy. So I'm really working on also not getting frustrated so quickly, so easily, not comparing myself to others. I've been working on this for the longest. I ought to be mastered this by now, but I have to compare myself. And it's like, oh, but who does she compare herself to? This <laughs> gonna sound stupid. Yeah, no, I compare myself to like excellent people. So I think it's a good thing because it's not like I'm comparing myself to other people like on Instagram, like body wise. Well, I do that because I did gain a lot of weight. But like I compare myself, I'm like, how to be like Michelle Obama? Look at it, she went to Ivy League. But I just idolize, not idolize, that's a that's a bad word. I admire and respect all that Mich like somebody like Michelle Obama has done or other um, medical students, residents or physicians that I follow on social media. And I, so I look up to them and like what they're doing and I'm like, I want to be like that. I want to be that organized, that much of a go-getter. I want to accomplish at the level that they've accomplished. So that I think is good, but then when I feel bad, then I'm like 
they look like they're doing so much better. It looks like it's so much easier for her. Look at her, she's stunning and look at how pretty she looks. I'm sitting here like this. This is because I had professional headshots done this morning. I normally have my hair in a bun to the point where when you take the bun off, my hair can like still stay in the bun and I'm wearing sweatpants. The only time I'm dressed up is if there's like a birthday that I'm going to or church. Always gotta look good for God, right? If you look good for your friends, you should look good for God. And what else do I dress up for? Now that I'm in rotations, I don't stay in a hoodie and sweatpants all day. I dress up. But other than that, like while you're step studying, it's a hard time. You're just studying and nothing looks good. Like, so yeah, I'm in clinicals. I already completed one rotation. I'm starting my second rotation on Monday. I'm super excited. I'm so thankful. I Listen, I need to apologize to all of you guys. I'm going to be doing regular videos now. See, I don't know what regular means, so like every week. See, because listen, this clinical life, studying for step one is very hard, 100%. I don't even want to do that again, but it's an adjustment. Being a clinical student, it very much so is an adjustment. So that's what I've been up to. That's me, life update, a lot of good news and Passed up one, completed one rotation, on to the next one. And um, I'm gonna be better about being on here. I want to share like truly my journey and document all of this for myself, for others. And really, like I've said before, the reason why I'm on here is because I want people to believe in themselves. I want people who are struggling, people who have failed out of one medical school. It doesn't even have to be just medical school somebody who tried a new business opportunity, who's switching to a new career, and they fell flat on their face and they feel regret, they feel humiliation, they feel sadness, they feel anger. You're just, you're not in a good place mentally. I wasn't for a really long time. I'm doing this for you because I feel like I don't see that elsewhere and that's why it's hard and that's why we, our feelings are even heightened and we feel them even more because we feel like everybody else is succeeding but us. I'm the only failure. I'm the only one doing badly. How come other people can succeed and do this and do it at a much faster rate than me? I'm here for you guys. And I want you guys to keep going. Try again, try again, try again. When you think you can't anymore, that's when it's just beginning. That's when you have to dig even deeper. And I'm saying this as somebody who's not like got it all together at all. Like I'm honest with you guys about my journey. Like if you if, if this is your first time watching my video, go ahead and watch the first two videos. You gonna see, I was the captain of the struggle team. I was driving that bus. Yep, I was a CEO of Team Struggle. I was, but I'm not trying to be no more. So if somebody else wants the position, let me know. But Yes. So if you think I'm your girl, you would like to see more content, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. It's just me, Jess P.